Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be getting my eyebrows waxed and tinted and I'm so excited because I've never done this before. And today's the day. I'm going to a local esthetician. She just does this out of her house, so I'm going to do that today. And I'm so excited because I've never gotten my eyebrows properly taken care of. I just kind of do them myself. Or in the past, I actually have done the eyebrow threading thing. But today I decided that I wanted to try something new. Okay, I have to admit I've gotten my eyebrows waxed once before and this was years ago. I just didn't have the best experience with it. So this video is for those of you that are looking into this or have no idea what to expect or you're just a subscriber and you came upon this video or you've never seen my face before and in that case welcome to my channel if you are new don't forget to subscribe which you probably haven't if you're new i post videos every week and i would love to have you join the fam on my channel i make lifestyle content beauty content vlogs, college videos, everything in between. So it would mean the world if you would subscribe. And contrary to popular belief, I washed my hair this morning and it's still looking greasy, which is not the move. But anyways, I just thought I would do this quick intro. everyone it's a few hours later and i just got back from my eyebrow appointment and this is what they look like today so my esthetician told me that they would be a little bit darker today than they will be tomorrow so i'll definitely throw in some footage tomorrow of what they look like day two but this is what they look like right after getting them done I'm literally obsessed because they look so perfect and clean. Like, I've never had eyebrows that look this good. And also, it's a little extreme because I've never had my eyebrows look like this. So I'm getting used to it. But I think that they look so good. I'm just obsessed with how, like, on point they look. I don't know if people even say that anymore. But they're literally perfect. And I love them so much. I do think that they're a bit dark, but like I said earlier, they're gonna get a little lighter as time goes on. Here's a little bit of a close-up. I'll get better footage tomorrow, but for tonight, I just wanted to show you guys what they looked like. It's late and the lighting's not super good, so I'm actually going to film more tomorrow for this video and just tell you guys everything that happened and the process and what I would recommend and everything. So yeah, this is right after getting them tinted and waxed. Okay, so this is not ideal, but I'm filming in my car because it has the best lighting and it's freezing cold in here, but I just wanted to finish up this video and answer some questions for any of you that are interested in getting your eyebrows waxed or tinted and yeah, so just answering questions. So it's a few days later and this is what my eyebrows now look like. So I was kind of shocked the first day, but now they're kind of back to normal or maybe I'm just used to it, but they look really, really good today and I'm really happy about them. The first day I was a bit shocked because I didn't know what to expect and so I thought that they looked way too dark and I was honestly worried about what they would look like for the next few weeks. But my esthetician said that it would be a little bit um, shocking at first because I'm not used to what I look like with tint. Even then the tint does wear off. So I really like the day two, day three look. I'm really happy that I got my eyebrows waxed and tinted. If I didn't mention this previously, I've gotten my eyebrows waxed one time and one time only because it wasn't the best experience and it was expensive for what it was. So I never went back, but after my recent experience, I would definitely go back because it was much more of an enjoyable time. So for those of you that have had a bad experience with waxing and you don't wanna go back, try it one more time with a different person and see if they 
do it better or if you like how they do it rather than the first person that you went to because that's how I felt and that's what my experience was. Questions that I had that you might have because you're probably watching this if you're going to get your eyebrows waxed or tinted. Question number one, waxing does not hurt. It feels way better than getting them threaded. I used to go and get my eyebrows threaded every few weeks and that hurt so bad but waxing actually feels really nice because it's like a warm wax and then they just rip it off in one go and waxing is just way better than threading and i don't think i can go back to threading because it hurts really bad and also they've messed up my eyebrows before and i just don't really like going back i didn't have a good experience with waxing so now that i have found an esthetician that i like i am more willing to go get my eyebrows waxed every few weeks another question tinting um, it doesn't hurt. It's basically just like a paint on type thing and it wears off over the few weeks. As for how long, I don't know. Everybody's different, but um, it should be around three weeks is what I'm told and what I think. Again, it just depends on your skin and your hair and all of those things. So it just kind of depends. I'm not an esthetician, so I don't know. I didn't go to school for this. This is just with my experience. Um, just thought I'd throw that disclaimer in there. Another question I had was, would it look good? I don't think it looks super natural the first day, but as the days go on, it definitely gets way more natural looking. As you can see, this is the after. Again, the lighting's just so bad everywhere, and it's the sun's just not working with me today. But this is kind of a better view, and I'm in my car. This is so funny to me. Okay, anyways, so those are a few questions that I had when I was going in for it, but I would definitely recommend getting your eyebrows waxed and tinted. I think it's so, so nice, and if you did have a previous bad experience, try to find another esthetician and see if they do it differently or if they give you a look that you want. But yeah, I don't really know what else to add to this video, so I think I'm going to end here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I respond to all my comments and I genuinely and I genuinely love reading your comments and interacting with you guys, so make sure you comment and subscribe to see more videos by me. I post every week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.